It was kind of you to receive me, Duke. I trust you passed a pleasant winter in Italy. Pleasant enough, St. Bunga. But I don't suppose you're here to discuss Italy. No. Your nephew, Duke. I'm concerned about your nephew. Oh, myself. I'm rather pleased with him just now. I trust he's not been giving dissatisfaction to the Liberal Party. To the contrary, he has given so much satisfaction that we've just asked him to become Chancellor of the Exchequer, an office for which he is admirably suited. But Duke, he has declined to take it. Has he now? <laughs> Riding his high horse, is he? <laughs> I know you politicians all have your little tricks to make yourself seem more important. Your nephew, Duke, does not play little tricks. He says family obligations compel him to refuse. What family obligations? That you must inquire of himself, Duke. It would be impertinent in me to say more. Only this. Any obligation that could deter your nephew from accepting the exchequer must be grave indeed. I dare say. Plantagenet would never refuse anything out of mere laziness or funk. He has far too high a sense of duty. Do you say he always hankered after this job? Coveted it, Duke. And now he refuses it because of family obligations. <laughs> you were right to come to me, St. Bungai. There's a very funny smell here. And it's time I got my old nose to bear on it. 